Good morning ladies and gents. What we're going to look at is the data that's been supplied to me by my data manager at school. And you can see here is a spreadsheet. I've taken the students names off. But there's a spreadsheet that's got the English, the maths and the science point scores. I've hidden away all the other subjects but they're in here. You can see the cells are hidden. Okay. And other information things like the sex, the ethnicity over here, the ethnicity whether or not they're looked after or in care, the SEN or whether or not they get free school meals. Okay. Now, normally your data manager will pre-process some of this information and you may well get a table that looks like this. Okay. Now, I've added the yellow to those particular cells to just really emphasise what this table shows us. It shows us that there's a huge difference between the boys and the girls for the level 2 threshold. There's a huge difference between the boys and the girls for English and Maths. And there's what looks like a difference um, between Science A stars to C. Now, if your data manager processes things a bit further, you may well get a, a bar chart or a chart, something like this. Very often the kind of things that produce the headline data goes off maybe to senior leadership, and it clearly shows the height of this bar here for the level two threshold compared to the height here for the boys. And again here for English, 50% to 20%. Really emphasizes the difference here. Okay, and specifically for me in science, this part of the graph, you can see that the 85% to the 77, it emphasizes that there's a difference. Now, as a science teacher and as a scientist, just having a table of results is not enough information for me to decide whether or not I should change policy because 85 to 77 is big, it's a, I get there is a difference, but is that difference real and is it significant and should I take it seriously? Fortunately, there is a test in Excel to make that decision and it's called a t-test. So in a blank cell here, I'm going to type equals t-test and open a bracket. And it's asking for array one, array two, tails and type. So I am now just going to drag out the data that corresponds to the females. If you notice on the left hand side there, you can see that this is where the female data stops. Okay. I'm now going to press comma and it's now looking for array two. Now array two is the data that corresponds to the boys. I'm going to type comma. Now it's looking for one or two tailed distribution. I'm going to type in two for a two tailed distribution because the data could be is likely to be symmetrical around the mean. Type in comma. And now it's looking for one paired or a two sample test. Their samples are independent of each other, aren't they? The, the boys and the girls, um, they're completely independent samples. So I'm going to choose three here, which is two sample unequal variance. So I'm going to press three, close the bracket and press return. Now if I scroll back up, you can see it's computed a value here, the t-test has computed a value of 0.35. Now I find it makes things easy to explain to other people. If I now convert that into a percentage, so I'm going to press the percentage button, and that's telling me that the t-test value of 35% is the chance that the boy data and the girl data is the same. Okay, The, the t-test is a percentage chance, the probability, that they're actually the same, that there is no difference. So there's a 35% chance that these numbers aren't actually different, that the boys aren't different than the girls. And in science and law and um, business, the value that you need is 5%, anything bigger than 5%. And we actually start concluding that the, the numbers aren't different, they are actually the same. Okay, 35%, nearly 40%, means there's a 4 in 10 chance that these numbers are the same. So if this was business and I had just implemented a strategy A and a strategy B, actually this test is concluding that there is no difference between those strategies. So if I employ that test that would be used in business, in law and in science, I would conclude that even though the boy and girl split of 85 to 77 percent seems like it's big enough and I should on the basis of the numbers, be going down the route of employing a strategy maybe to lift up the boys' um, performance. If we actually test these numbers statistically to see how big is that difference and is that difference meaningful, 
actually it comes out at 35% chance that the numbers are the same. So on the basis of statistics, I wouldn't be investigating now a boy-girl differential. In science, I'd go on and look at something else. Okay, It might well be that looking at the lack or the SEN or the ethnicity is more important to me in science than just looking at the gender alone. Okay, So what we've done is we've used this thing called the t-test to quantify, to give me some more insight into how different these numbers are. Okay, And in the case for me here in science, this 85 to 77 percent difference isn't actually significant enough for me to be developing a strategy to fix. Okay, So that's the beauty of statistics and that test is called the t-test. Thank you.